got another inventive rap record at number 27 on my fancy playlist. Skilo, I wish. Man, I had that thumping back beat. The, the beat was killer. The rapping was just absolutely funny. One thing about this record, gangster rap was starting to get really big in 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995. You had Tupac, you had Dr. Dre, you had Snoop Doggy Dog. But this song, no cussing, no profanity in this record. It was just a fun, it was just a fun rap record. It had a message in there, a little frustration, but still, it just, you don't have to cuss constantly to make a great rap record. You don't. You can be brilliant. Anyway, off my soapbox. Skilo, his real name, uh, Antone Roundtree, got a wife. I think he's still married, got a wife and two kids. I believe they're living in Los Angeles now, but he's originally from uh, Chicago, moved to New York, and by, by the time he was nine years old, he moved to Riverside, California, and then migrated to Los Angeles in 1990. He went to El Camino College in Los Angeles, and he converted to Islam joined the Nation of Islam and started rapping in the early 90s. And uh, his debut single, well, actually he started working on his CD. It was called I Wish in 1993. And uh, started working on the lyrics of, actually started recording the lyrics of I Wish, the, the song itself, in 1991. And uh, when the album came out, it was remastered in towards the tail end of 1994. And so we got this great rap record, this one-hit wonder, I Wish, by Ski Low. And, uh, but here's the deal. Just when this song, this song did very well. It went to number 13 on Billboard's Hot 100, Hot 100 went to number 15 in England. Went to number 4 in, in Norway and Sweden. Man, it was rocking the cold climes of Scandinavia. <laughs> no doubt about it. It was slamming. Slamming beat, man. You gotta have that beat. Some good old fashioned fun. Skilo, I wish. But here's the deal. When the song became very successful, when the album became very successful, five months after the album was released, Skilo said, I'm done. F this. He claimed that his record label. Now, Scotty Brothers released a single, I Wish, but the label that's been mentioned on a source was called, it was called, uh, bear with me, I wrote it down, it was Sunshine Records, Sunshine Records. He claimed that Sunshine Records, his label, had claimed all the credit for the album's success and that he did not get paid one penny, not in royalties. And he said, okay, guys, I'm, I'm not working for free. This, this S is not, this ain't free. No more promotion, no more making records, and no more making videos. He did put out another CD, though, in 2000, around 2000. His last CD, his third CD, came out in 2012. I thought I wrote down the name of that CD, but I don't think I did. And uh, that's about it. <clears throat> it uh, well, actually, I got it down. His third album was called Fresh Ideas. It's from his own label called Skilo Music, released in 2012 on iTunes, and was released in stores in 2013. Of course, this was four or five years ago. And, uh, but we go back, go back to this single, I wish. Remember watching the video on MTV. Boy, I remember those days. Skilo at number, actually the song is at number 27. And I got some major chicken scratch. I think it fell from number 19, but I'm not sure. I can't read it. <laughs> But anyway, it's at number it's at number twenty seven on my fancy playlist of October first, nineteen ninety five.